So a genre system is, is simply a regularized constellation or hierarchy of genres. Uh, but we make it more useful to us for analysis by specifying the what, where, and when. So what media, like film, or even what media industry, like Hollywood. The concept of a genre system is primarily informed by the idea that individual genres don't develop or exist in, in a vacuum. That genres are defined by their interrelation and differentiation from other genres. They compete, contrast, and complement each other. Individual genres are defined then not solely by their own conventions and characteristics, but in reference to the overall genre system and its constituent members. We think of musicals, for example, as defined by the privileging of song and dance. But if every genre included song and dance, that really wouldn't be a useful characteristic through which we would want to understand that genre. Genre systems, therefore, are really useful to understanding the relevant set of traits or the conventions of individual genres. But they're also useful for historicizing and analyzing media fields. Coming up into sort of the historical heart of film studies, we might want to talk about the genre system of classical Hollywood cinema. Right, sticking sort of for the sake of cohesiveness to the mid to late 1930s, we could talk about westerns like Stagecoach, uh, musicals like Swing Time, crime films, melodramas, and again, comedies and dramas. So something like Bringing Up Baby uh, and Gone with the Wind. Obviously, we can expand or contract uh, that time period also to include more or less of classical Hollywood's narrative feature films, which is what we were just thinking about. But if we define the what here now as film genres one would have encountered in a more traditional movie theater in America in that same period, we would want to add genres like newsreels and comedy shorts and cartoons. And if we expand it even further to the genre system of American cinema beyond just Hollywood, we should add at least things like exploitation films, race pictures, avant-garde cinema, and even something like stag films. We can use the same ideas to look beyond films, to say television, and use this concept of genre system to study and compare such things as, uh, say, primetime programming of different eras. So the network television genre system of the 1950s versus the 1970s. Both would include dramas and sitcoms for sure, but quiz shows uh, would have been an important part of the hierarchy of the former and not really important, if at all, to the latter. We could also compare over times of the day, say the genre system for daytime television uh, with soap operas and uh, talk shows versus primetime television. And as a last example, we could think of, say, the genre system for contemporary video games, which would include say, first-person shooter games, uh, such as Call of Duty, role-playing games like World of Warcraft, sports video games like Madden Football or FIFA Soccer, sandbox games like Minecraft, and to end, puzzle games like Candy Crush.